switch. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Brandon, and today we're going to be doing the guided project for my data analyst program in my classes. Today, we're using the data set from Kaggle, and I have the link here. Uh, and we're using the Project The World Happiness Report 2022. So we'll start off the project by connecting our data set to, or connecting our workbook to our Google Drive. I really like Google Colab because it has a lot of convenient features. And so it's just the same as if you're downloading, uh, or works the same if you're going to import data from your computer or from your Google Drive. The first thing you have to do is mount your drive. Then what we're going to do, we're going to be working with pandas and reporting it as PD, NumPy as NP, Seaborn as SNS, matplotlib, pyplot as plot, and warnings we're importing so that as we're running some of the different functions, these warning messages don't kind of clog up our, our workflow. So we're going to import warnings and then we're calling simple filter and just ignore on all of our filters. So let's run that cell. And we'll go to the next cell, we're going to import our data. So we're going to use pandas pd.readcsv. And here's the file extension. Ignore kind of how long mine is. This is connected to my Google Drive. And so you would just put your file path here, and we're assigning it to DF, which is the standard kind of practice alias that we use to assign a data frame to DF. The first thing we'll do is take a peek at our data set, and we'll go df.head. That will give us the first five rows of the data set. So we can make here we have country, happiness score, whisker high, whisker low, dystopian, explainable GDP, social support, healthy life expectancy, freedom to make choices, generosity, and perceptions of corruption as they play into your happiness or the happiness index of a given country. So here what we'll do is we're next going to a very important step is to check and look at the data types and null values in our data set. So here we can see we have 146 entries and we have 146 for all of our rows of non-null values. So we have no null values in this data set. An important point to note is we have an integer and we also have an object here. We have country, which is the names of the countries, is an object. So we, we have to be conscious of this because it allows us to do different things. 